we continue this magical winter road trip and head north for Jay, Vermont on the U.S.-Canadian border to what is arguably the best mountain in New England, Jay Peak. A laid-back playground of fun and entertainment for kids of all ages. And still, the king of vibe. There is an eclectic mix of culture here, definitely a soulful Quebecois influence, a strong ski Vermont heritage, faithful flatlanders and diehards from New Jersey, all rising to the challenge of Jay Peak. Uh, Jay Peak at the time was known for a place to come and, and, and learn how to learn how to ski. It's a little bit further than some of the other resorts here in New England, so it's one of those um, you know, places to get put on a shelf and people eventually want to get to, you know, they tend to have to uh, perfect their skills a little bit before they get here because of the challenge of the terrain, the, the amount of snow, the glade skiing that we have. Um, but we find that even with the Boston market, once people come here for the first time, it's a place that they want to come back to. It's a place that people travel from far away to be at, to be part of, and it's not just a place though, it's a vibe coming to Jay Peak. It's just a different different pace, and uh, people have good values when they come here. All the things that matter the most. Uh, Jay Peak's a big mountain. Uh, we got terrain for everyone, but we got some really heavy terrain that's uh, for the best of the best. Uh, we got the most snow on the East Coast over here with about 359 inches of annual snowfall. Well, you got two main base areas at Jay. You've got stateside and you've got tramside. Stateside services, uh, lifts that'll bring you up to terrain that can get you over to tramside and vice versa. Yeah. Well, this is Vermont's only aerial tram and we run it in the summer, we run it in the fall, but in the winter time, it gets you up to the real goods. It gets you up to the summit, just under 4,000 feet. It's about a six minute ride, it's a quick one, and it's a pretty fun one at that. The tram doesn't just service some of the most gnarly terrain in the east though, it also has blue and, and other black terrain off of that as well. Groomed trails, and so everyone can get up, enjoy the 360 views, you can see well past the Canadian border, you can see the Adirondacks in New York, you can see south of Mount Mansfield, all, all down the Green Mountain Spine, you can see every direction, it's really beautiful up there. gets better. The, the terrain off the tram, up on the face, the face shoots are iconic Jay Peak. Uh, Green Beret, Valhalla off, off the ridge there too. Woo! They hold the snow real well, they fill in, they're great, they're steep, they got drops, and uh, you can really have a good time in that, that zone up in there. Despite all of the snow we get and the steep, steep terrain, um, we do have terrain that's for everyone as well. We have lower mountain lifts that service uh, all sorts of blue and, and green terrain too. We have progressive glades, some of which are even groomed, uh, which is pretty, pretty cool to have an opportunity to get started skiing in the trees and riding in the woods, uh, but in an area that you can feel comfortable going in for the first time. Kokomo's a really fun one. You can choose all your lines, they weave, they go left and right. There's islands of trees through there and uh, a lot of groomed terrain as well through Kokomo. 
You have a space that a groomer can go through, smooth it out, groom it out at night, and you can go and, and experience it for the first time and really build up a progression from there so that by the time you're done, you're ready to hit the face, maybe in a few weeks. <laughs> um, that, that's terrible, don't, don't use that. <laughs> you're not ready to go from the moons to the face. Beautiful day in paradise. These are the days of Jay right here. I love it. It doesn't get much better than this. There is a very unique culture here at this mountain, and uh, it's it's one of passion and uh, of one of kindness and uh, respect for each other and what we love doing. end of the day, the legs are burning. So it's off to that legendary J Peak Apre. Great food and cold brew. Conversation, laughter, and solid winter vibes with our very hospitable hosts of J Peak. Apre at J is great. Every weekend we have live music at the Bullwheel Bar. We bring in bands at the Fogger Ballroom. Uh, we have we have a lot of really fun times here. It's a, a good vibe at JP. We like music. We like high fives. We like camaraderie. We got a lot of good local beers too. We have a good time. It's been a lot of skiing, a lot of riding in New England for a long time. JP has been one of the first, and the direction that JP is going only manifests that strong culture. It's a really good place to be and a good time to be here too. J Peak, one more run on the Mountain Report.